Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma dara habita fillah It's important that the believers behave and act like brothers to one another and that they love one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they have they are merciful with one another for the sake of Allah azza wa jal and they have expressed affection towards one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in this regard, An Nu'man ibn Bashir radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mithlu mu'mineen fi tawadihim wa tarahimihim wa ta'atifihim mithlu al-jisad ida ishtakka minhu abu tada'a lahu sayr al-jisad bi sahri Wilhama, Wilhama, Ruahu Bukhari and Muslim in this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the hadith of Nu'man ibn Bashir radiyallahu taalaan. He said, "The example of the believers is the example that they love one another, and they are merciful with one another, and they are affectionate with one another. Is similar like the example of the body, that when a part of it." is sick or uh, is ailing, then the rest of it becomes uh, sleepless or restless and becomes, uh, has fever and feverish. And this is in Bukhari and Muslim. Imam al he said about this hadith, هَذِهِ الْأَحَدِيثُ الصَّرِيحَ فِي تَعْذِيمْ حَقُوقُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ بَعْضُهُمْ عَلَى بَعْضُ وَحَثْتُهُمْ عَلَى تَرَاهَمْ وَتَلَاطِفَ وَتَعَابَدْ فِي غَيْرِ إِثْمْ وَلَا مَكْرُوهُ So Imam Anawi said about this hadith and, uh, and another group of hadith. He said that these groups of hadith, that they are very clear and direct evidence illustrating the importance and the greatness of the right of the believers over one another. And it encourages them, or it is an encouragement for them to have mercy with one another and be uh, gentle with one another and to support one another in everything except sinfulness and that which is uh, hated or disliked. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem wa ta'awana la biri wa taqwa wa la ta'awana la ithmi wa udwan. And uh, ta'awana la biri wa taqwa. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to cooperate in piety and God fearfulness. And taqwa habita fillah, we know it means to adhere to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoid his prohibitions. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us with taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَتَعَوَنَ لِبِرِ وَتَقْوَى And he's, he's commanded us to ta'awan, to cooperate in uh, uh, piety, in God-fearfulness, and not, and do not ta'awan. He says, do not cooperate on sinfulness, and enmity. So always try to weigh your actions when it comes to dealing with other Muslims. And especially if it comes through the chain of other people and their opinions about individuals or what have you, put it on that scale. Ask yourself, are you making ta'awan ala bir wa taqwa? Or are you making ta'awan ala ithmi wa udwan, ala sinfulness and enmity? Are you creating more enmity to go around the community? And spreading bid'ah and spreading ghiba and namima? Are you spreading khair and cooperating in righteousness and God fearfulness? So ask yourself, this is an important scale to put on. Uh, Ibn Abi Jamra, rahimahullah ta'ala, said uh, about the difference in, in the meaning in this hadith. He said, Aladhi yadhar anatarahim wa tawad wa ta'atif. وَإِنْ كَانَتْ مُقَارَبَ فِي الْمَعْنَى لَكِنْ بَيْنَهَا فَرْقْ لَطِيفٌ 
He said, even if those three things, the mercifulness and love and the affection, even if they're very similar in meaning, very similar, he said that they have a very small, a very minor difference. So here's the benefit that he's mentioning. He says, تراهم, as for uh, uh, having mercy between you, he said, what is meant by that is that you should be merciful uh, with one another. And this is done bi al iman la bi sabab shay akhr. He said, and this is done by the brotherhood of faith, of iman, and not for any other reason. And then he said, tawad, and as for you know expressing this love, he said that this is uh, to encourage one another and express towards one another muhabba, love, and to visit one another and to give gifts to one another. So he, you see the difference now between tawad and torahim. And then he mentioned wa'amma ta'atif. And as for affection, he said, فَالْمَرَادْ بِهِ إِعَانَةُ بَعْضُهُمْ بَعْضًا كَمَا يُعَطِّفُ الثَّوْبِ عَلَيْهِ لِيَقْوِيهِ So he said that what is meant by ta'atif or uh, having this affection, that what is meant by this is this is assisting one another. Similar to the way that the thobe, the garment, is um, assisted or becomes more beautiful and more beautified by the iron, by that which you know makes it neat and ironed. So this is how the mu'minin should be with one another, and this is how the brotherhood should be, and the sisterhood. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.